Hello viewers, I am Zohar Islam and you are watching me on my YouTube channel. Today the topic of my presentation is probiotics. So what is probiotics? Probiotics can be defined as or probiotics was for the first time derived from a Greek word which literally means for life. The term was first coined in 1965 to defect the substances produced by certain microorganisms to stimulate the growth of another microorganism. Dear viewers, you have already learned antibiotics which are the chemical substances which are used to inhibit or stop the growth of microorganisms as well as to kill them. A wide range of microorganisms including gram-positive bacteria and gram-negative bacteria but probiotics literally the in the current era the probiotics it was made by the food and agriculture organization of united nation and world health organization referring to the living microorganisms so these are actually the living the live microorganisms whenever they are administered in sufficient quantity or adequate amount it confers a health benefits to the host so most of the probiotics they are administered along with antibiotics so mean they are used probiotic they are used as a food these are the live microorganisms so whenever they are administered in sufficient or adequate amount so it will confer the health benefits to the host to, to quality as a probiotic there are four major characteristics features it must be found in microorganisms these microorganisms must be reside in the human body they are survive after ingestion and there is benefit benefit to the host and and they must be safely consumed these are the four basic feature of probiotics so there is a big difference between probiotics xenobiotics and antibiotics antibiotic is something else anti mean against so antibiotics are these are the subs these are the chemical substances which are produced by the microorganisms so as we have studied in our previous lectures that antibiotics they are actually produced by the living organisms it can be extracted from plant animal microorganisms and different sources but probiotics these are something else probiotics these are actually its main nature is these are used as a food these are the living microorganism for example uh, you can say um, uh, lactic acid formation fermentations yogurts there are certain bacteria which are important for for your uh, intestinal growth for example there are some bacteria which are also found in your intestines for example they are responsible for the production of certain vitamins for example vitamin b12 vitamin b6 so the same case is here the probiotics have some features some characteristics they must be reside in the human body they must be survive after ingestion and there is a benefit for the host for the human body that's why it should be taken as a food and as they are safely consumed so it can be safely safely utilized by the human body now come to our the characteristics or the feature of effective probiotic so probiotic have the tendency they are able to survive the passage through the digestive system 
so if you want to boost up your immune system so for your digestive system uh, these uh, probiotics they are able to survive the passage through digestive system and even these probiotics they are able it is the tendency to attach to the intestinal epithelia and colonize and form a colonies type shape even the probiotics they are able to maintain the good vitality in even they are important for your intestinal motility mobility they are able to utilize the nutrients in the substrates in a normal diet probiotics these are non pathogenic and these are non toxic so it must be injected it must be taken along with the food because these are the live microorganism in the form of bacteria because there are certain bacteria which are beneficial for your intestinal flora for your intestine so there are so many example is i mentioned that there are certain microorganism which are also live in your in your guts and your intestine and then these bacteria produce certain type of vitamins for example vitamin b12 cyanocobalamin vitamin b6 they are even the probiotics they are capable of exerting a beneficial effect on the host even they are they have the stability of desired characteristics during processing during storage and during transportation so you should remember that probiotic it has anti inflammatory effect it has anti mut mutagenic effect and immuno stimulatory effect as the same case with antibiotics so these are the uh, fundamental characteristics of probiotics and these probiotics can be used for the variety purpose as i have mentioned that antibiotics have anti inflammatory effect uh, analgesic effects so here probiotics is also strong anti inflammatory and anti Uh, mutagenic and immuno uh, stimulatory effect now there are some advantages i am going to explain the advantages of probiotics these probiotic act produce the lactic acid formation so lactic acid formations for example these probiotic lower the ph the power of hydrogen ion concentration in your intestine and it can inhibiting the bacterial of valiant such as clostridium tetani such as salmo salmonella typhosa such as shigella and e coli etc even so another advantage of probiotic is it decrease the production of uh, uh, the, the production of the variety of the toxic and carcinogenic metabolites for example whenever there is production of some carcinogenic metabolites materials or whenever there is any toxicity occur to your body so ultimately uh, this probiotic decrease the production of the variety of the toxic metabolites or carcinogenic metabolites which become the cause of cancer so um, another advantage another uh, merit you can say the uh, advantage of probiotic it aid the absorption of minerals especially the calcium uh, due to increase the intestinal acidity so that's why they are also responsible for the absorption of various minerals including calcium um, due to increase intestinal acidity so as usually they are also used to lower the ph of your intestine so there is basic environment in your intestine in acidic environment in stomach so it can lower the ph of the intestine the normal physiological ph is 7.4 so as well as uh, another advantage of probiotics so the yeah, probiotic they are also responsible for the production of beta and d galactoside cydase enzyme so that break down the lactose which is glycogen which is carbohydrate so the probiotics i mean that uh, uh probiotics they are essentially they are used for the for the multiple purpose so there are so many uh, applications uh, clinical advantage of probiotics uh, it produce certain vitamins especially vitamin b and vitamin k 
so which are the clotting factor vitamin b complexes like vitamin b1 b2 b6 and b12 uh, another classical advantage of uh, uh, probiotic it act as a barrier resistance to certain bacteria certain microorganism to uh, from colonizing the intestine you know that sometimes these microorganisms they are able they have the tendency to form colonies in your intestine so in order to in order to prevent in order to stop this activity uh, it act as a barrier uh, to prevent the certain microorganism so these microorganism will become unable to colonize or they are deposit in your body especially in your intestine so i mean that these probiotic are also act as a it uh, uh, produce or you can say it become uh, a barrier resistance for those are those bacteria uh, which become the cause of infection so it can it can provide protection to the harmful bacteria in order to avoid the colonization of these bacteria in the intestine so uh, i'm sure you, know, you have got my point so uh, probiotics uh, you know these are the living microorganism uh, so there are so many example in the daily life like lactic acid formation or fermentation or the uh, yogurt formation yogurt formation i think this is one of the uh, good example in daily life so uh, you know there are certain disease you know there are certain disease so probiotics can be used against uh, the uh, different form of a disease so inshallah uh we will discuss inshallah i will proceed this lecture and we will uh, talk about uh, the different uh, the variety of infection and the uh, clinical uses or application of probiotic inshallah in my next lecture thank you so much for watching my lecture inshallah uh, if you if you have any question regarding uh, my uh, lecture so uh, you can directly contact me so i am available for any kind of services thank you